Hello Capricorn, this is going to be a reading for October 6th to October 12th. Thank you to all my subscribers, all the views, all the comments. I appreciate it so much. If you're new to my channel, if you like the channel, it really helps to subscribe. And I upload two videos every day at Pacific Standard Time. So if you subscribe and you hit the bell icon, your phone will beep wherever you are at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you don't want your phone to beep, then don't hit the bell icon, if that helps you out. So I'm doing a new layout for those of you new. I'm doing one side you, one side your partner. If you don't have a partner, you can pick one side or, you, or use both sides for you. And then I'm going to do the past of the situation or relationship, the present, and the future with those cards. So I shuffle all my decks before I turn the camera on. And there's no way this can connect with every single Capricorn, so do not force it. If it connects, awesome. If you know your ascending sign or your moon sign, you can watch those videos. And welcome cross watchers. Cross watchers are people who watch their loved ones sign videos. So here we go. All these three cards will be for you. So Capricorn, the first one for you is Relief 22. That's beautiful. So it means to me that you come out of something that was not too easy, that might have been not as happy as you wanted it to be. I feel like your passion kind of got pushed to the wayside and didn't get, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Your passion didn't get, I can say, noticed in this relationship or something like that. So I see you're going to get a choice to go in new directions, new growth that's going to be good for you. 22 is a double digit number, so that's good if you want to break that down. Let me grab these and see what this says for 22, because I can't remember the plant and all that. So let's see, 22 says, Lemon balm makes things easier to bear. So you've been carrying a heavy load, that's what I said, the overwhelming sense of responsibility and a sense has grown out of proportion. So in order to do that, you must realize what you are clutching, let it go, you don't need to carry it anymore. So you're going to release something and you're healing from something and you're moving on to um, a new direction. You want to go a new direction and something in your life. So the next one is go with the flow 20. So this tells me that right now you're meant to just go with the flow of energy or the way your life is going. Because it must be like a rest period for you. Usually is why this comes up. So it talks about not fighting negative energy. Go around negative energy. Don't argue with people who are negative. Don't try to stay away from negativity. So it says, loose strife helps coping when life is overwhelming and going with the flow in the midst of chaos. Orbicular jasper enhances steady, slow breathing, which supports patience and flexibility of mind. The path to your goal is not a straight line, but is filled with unexpected bends, detours, and blocks. Being frustrated, angry, or impatient won't help. Try to accept that this chaos is part of the experience rather than fighting it or flailing about. Find the rhythm or flow in the chaos and ride it gently to your destination. So maybe you're the one that's getting angry. Um, I was talking about stay away from negative energy, but maybe you have some negative energy in you that is um, causing a hardship for you. There's a couple things in the... Oh, it's a bird. It's a duck. I was like, what is that? So I see like three ducks. I'm trying to see what symbol I see in there. It's crazy. So it looks like you have the single spiral. So healing. You're healing. Which is what I got in this card too. Alright, so now we'll go one more. I'm taking a long time. 32 Prosperity. This is a really good card. So this talks about change. So let me see, 32. So change is really hard for some people. And you ask for it and ask for it in the universe, and then when it comes, you're like, 
you're not so brave. So here it says, Money plant resembles the full moon, the fullness of power, blessings, and abundance. Dendritic agate is known for a stone of plentitude. I'm sure I didn't say that right. When things are challenging in terms of money and resources, the inclination is to hold tight, to grasp at what you have. But prosperity is meant to flow. Don't close yourself off from the abundance of the universe by giving in to a scarcity mindset. Plant whatever seed you are able and receive what is given. So this talks about... Let me see what symbols in here. Wow, you are getting a lot of healing. It's the healing symbol, too. And I see amber. So, yeah, uh, your life is changing, and a lot of things are coming to you. You're healing from something. Your energy is, like, shifting. So, hopefully, you're getting over anger if you have it. So, I'm going to switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck, and one side is you, one side is your partner. So, for this side over here, we have Ten of Wands. So, somebody is about ready to, usually Ten of Wands is you're ready to do something but you're hanging on to one last thing before you do it. So somebody's hanging on to one last thing before they turn around and move forward. So death is some part of you moving forward and a part of you staying in the past. So some part of you that must not relate to you anymore, that you either outgrew or you changed somehow, you're leaving that behind and you're moving forward. So the High Priestess, this is beautiful. So this means that you've learned from your past hardships, your lessons in life, your relationships, your friendships, your jobs. The High Priestess doesn't just wake up and be the High Priestess. She has to learn. Feel free to vice versa masculine feminine energies. I'm just going with what's on the card, but you can vice versa masculine feminine from what's on the card. So it... The High Priestess had to go through tough times to get to be the High Priestess. And I also get the feeling that somebody could be watching how you handle things. And they could be kind of admiring how you do it, how you keep your cool. So now I'm going to switch over to this side over here. So then you have the Emperor. So the Emperor could be a couple things. This could be somebody who is a boss, a CEO. This is usually Aries placement. Also, the emperor could be narcissistic sometimes. The emperor wants to be in control. He likes to sit in his chair and count his money and see everything going on in his house. So then you have the princess of cups. So this is somebody honest wanting to offer a cup of love to somebody. So... If this is you over here, which I'm not sure you decide, then you have the emperor over here and somebody, a uh, young person younger than you, I feel, wanting to offer love to you or somebody else around you. So Seven of Cups is somebody reflecting on the past and staying stuck in something in the past they can't move out of. They could have seven cups in front of them and they're focused on one thing from the past or one person they can't move past from. So now I'm going to pull for the set over here again. And you have strength, which could be Leo placement. So this person over here is really, really strong. So maybe this is you over here, uh, Capricorn. Justice talks about balance. So somebody is balancing something out about themselves. They're going to balance and leave something that doesn't work for them anymore behind and move forward. And Three of Wands. So Three of Wands tells me a High Priestess has opportunities around her. She has opportunities, she has three at least, opportunities around her to go in a different direction. So here's your card right here, Capricorn. So I do feel like this side over here is you. And this is a couple things. This is you not showing your feelings, not showing your emotions, you're keeping them closed off. So it says somebody gave emotions to you and you didn't show them the emotions. You kept it closed and let them give. You let them have desire and passion. And you just were a blank slate for them. 
This also tells me that you, again, could be narcissistic, that you want control. You see there's two people, two females in this. Feel free to vice versa energy wherever it applies to you. One is looking forward and he's kind of behind if that's the way you want to do the energy. And she's offering a cup of love and she's in her passion. And then over here, it's like a throat chakra because it's the blue and she's looking at him like she's getting ready to walk away and she's looking at him seeing if he's going to do anything maybe if he cares is what I feel so then you have seven of coins so seven of coins is somebody planning and organizing so I feel like this person who has honest love is trying to plan and organize so queen of wands queen of wands is somebody who is very very, how do I put it, they can't sit still. The Queen of Wands doesn't want to just sit in one place for 50 years. The Queen of Wands wants to do things. She wants to go explore, she wants to meet new people, and she just is full of ideas. She could be an entrepreneur too. Alright, so now I'm going to pull the Tarot Illuminati for these, kind of clarification for these. So, the Tarot Illuminati is by Eric Dunn, and he says in no way does he want the Tarot Illuminati cards to be associated with the Illuminati organization. To him, he named him Tarot Illuminati after the Latin word for Illuminati, which means enlightened. So, they really mean enlightened is what this deck means, and I really love this deck. So, the first one for over here is Ten of Pentacles. So this person over here has abundance coming to them. They're strong. They're getting ready to move into the future. As I said, they're looking behind either to take somebody with them before they move forward. So Ten of Cups. This is happiness, family, abundance. So it, to me this looks like when somebody leaves something behind, some part of them where they couldn't let go, Things will balance out and they can have happiness. Whether that's you or your partner, you have to decide how this readout goes for you. So, wow, and then you have Princess of Cups. So here we have the High Priestess, which is somebody very smart um, and knowledgeable from life's hardships. And the Three of Wands, opportunities. And Princess of Cups tells me that this person wants to offer love to somebody. She has love she wants to offer. And to me, she's voiced this love already. She has voiced her love. She has said it. I feel like you're aware, Capricorn, of this already. But, yeah, I'm not even going to say what I see. Okay, so then we have Seven of Pentacles. So, Capricorn, you came out as the Emperor. It's all about money for you is what this looks like. It's all about money. So, when you have somebody who gave 100% and you gave nothing, you're focusing on your money, and then somebody's getting ready to walk away and you're focusing on your money, um, that's just what I'm seeing here. So, Six of Cups. So, this is somebody who has love and is planning, organizing. Somebody wants to come in and do love the right way. They want to do it traditionally correct. Ace of Cups. This is love. A lifetime of love. Lifetime of love. Peace. Um, and actually doing it. This is actually... How do I say it? Love acts for the rest of your life with one person is what I see for whoever that may be so let me pull more clarification of the Terra Illuminati so the next one that comes up is Ace of Pentacles which we had Ten of Pentacles over here so this person is really going to go into abundance we have the strength the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles so somebody is going to do really well in their coins before they go into the future so then you have King of Cups. So King of Cups is somebody who offers love. I feel like to me the King of Cups is crooked. It's, he's codependent, I feel. So we have 
the death, justice, happiness with love, and the King of Cups. So maybe the King of Cups is going to leave an addiction or a behavior in the past and move into a cup of happiness, ten, ten cups of happiness and love. So then you have Four of Pentacles. So Four of Pentacles comes out with the Princess of Cups. So I feel like the Princess of Cups is either blocking yourself to you or you're blocking yourself to her. Somebody's blocking themselves. And now I don't think it's her because I see the throat chakra here in the green. So she's communicating, but somebody is blocking themselves is what I see. All right, now I'm going to pull for the other side. And we have the King of Pentacles. Man, there is so much masculine energy over here is what I'm getting. So the King of Pentacles is somebody who is very flashy, very arrogant, very wanting to show off. Very, he gets a lot of coins and then he wants to show everybody what he did with all his coins, is what that says to me. So then you have Four of Cups. So Four of Cups is. Where else did you have that? I guess you didn't have it anywhere here. Four of Cups is somebody not paying attention to anybody else offering love around them. They're focused on one single cup, that's what they want to focus on, nothing else. And that comes out after somebody wanting to be traditional. So this tells me that somebody is changing and they want to be traditional and they want all the love focused on them. They don't want anyone coming at them when they're focused on somebody else. So Two of Swords is a couple of things. This could be denial. This could be blocked. I feel like the full moon could bring something known that wasn't known. Um... Yeah, I feel like somebody could be in denial. And look, it says Ace of Cups. This is true love. So somebody could be in denial of true love. They could not believe it. Is what I'm seeing. All right, so now I'm going to pull the past, present, future, and then I'll pull the um, lesson cards or the oracle cards over here. So the past of this relationship was self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So this pretty much tells me that somebody may have had self-esteem issues, if not both people in this situation, Capricorn, with you in the past. Or basically, you did. So, therefore, you probably lashed out at your partner. They didn't understand why you were lashing out, but it was due to your own self-esteem issues. And that is like, oh, that would go with up here, the narcissism. The King of Pentacles, the arrogance, kind of like gaslighting somebody. Because, because you're scared. Alright, so the present situation of this is gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So I feel like looking back, it took you a little while to be um, grateful for, to look at the past and see the things that you... Um, can hold yourself accountable for, which isn't 100% of whatever the relationship was, but definitely everybody should hold themselves accountable for what they brought to a relationship or what they didn't bring. So I feel like you're grateful because you must have more self-esteem now. You're at a better place, so you can be grateful for what did and didn't work in the past. So the next one for you, the future of this relationship, oh no, is worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So this talks about healing. I feel like you are definitely healing from worry. Something about you is going to release worry. That's, that's amazing. So now I'm going to pull the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck for you. And I do shuffle the decks before I turn the camera on if I didn't already say that. But I do it one more time after I turn the camera on. Before I use them. So the first one for you, Capricorn, is 15, Adrift in Shallow Water. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. 
So this tells me you're dealing with a little bit of emotional things. You may feel overwhelmed. You feel like you're going in a direction nobody else is going in. You feel like you could be going around in circles or you're just going in a direction that everybody else seems to be going away from is what I'm picking up. Which tells me six, if you break those numbers down, is a good number. It's a relationship number usually. And it's just going in a... You've... Com you've went through some sort of change and now you're going to that higher vibration from that change. So the next one for you is 17, safe and surrounded by love. Keep your heart open and know you are being protected. Listen to what you know to be true and allow you yourself to see and understand what is going on around you. So this talks about your emotions are in check, you're happy, you're kind of showing off. Your self-esteem has definitely changed from what this card says right here. You're kind of adrift. You're dealing with your emotions. But you can also be happy and leave the emotions, you know, and have happy moments and feel safe. So that would be eight. So six and eight, if that means anything. So now I'm going to pull the Angel and Ancestor deck for you. Capricorn, you have Air Guardian. Shift your perception. So Air Guardian talks about don't go inside your head. Do not go inside your head and make your thoughts go overwhelming and make situations worse, is what this says. So be mindful of your thoughts. Put positive thoughts and energy out, to, out into the universe. Do not entertain negative thoughts. We had that back with going with the flow, your first, second card. Be mindful of your thoughts. Try and... Put positive thoughts out to the universe. And as a matter of fact, today your ruling, uh, your ruling planet goes into your sign today. As a matter of fact, Capricorn. So you should be feeling a shift and a change. You should be feeling more at ease, happier, more decisive more clear so just be aware of that and then there's another shift I think that will affect you later in the week but today definitely you should feel so good because your rolling planet is going in your sign and it's going in the correct direction alright so the next one for you is shallow and master be graceful in movement and action this is beautiful this again talks about going with the flow of energy around you don't fight negative people around you don't entertain people who want to trigger you who want to bring up the past that you have moved past from just be aware of energies like that coming towards you and it could just be the universe making sure how strong you are and pointing out to yourself how strong you are and how far you've come is what I feel so I do feel like things are balancing and this is a way for you to see how balanced they are and how you've brought this balance to your life. I really do feel that. So let me look up Shalom Master and see what it says. Even though I'm pretty sure I was... I just feel like sometimes maybe there's something they want to add. Just says breathe and flow. The shallow master has respect for all things. He is disciplined and guided by his art and will never use it to impress the foolish or to appear, appear stronger than someone who is threatening him. You are being guided to flow like water, blow like air, and connect with your purest intentions. And then you got the air. But it says the air usually means do not um, go inside your head. So let me look at that real fast too. So yeah, it talks about change the way you think and you'll change your whole reality. So something about the way you're thinking can guide you into more peace is what I'm seeing here. Totally. So try and change something the way you're thinking into more peace that can lead you into where you see yourself going in the future. Definitely. And I think I got everything for you. All right. So thank you so much, Capricorn, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. And bless you, Capricorn.